Hey y'all, it's me, your boy. <laughs> so I just want to film a, uh, a quick video, put it out there for everybody. Um, kind of just fill everybody in on the, uh, the journey I have been on in my endeavors in real estate. So uh, as I'm sure a lot of you already know, I uh, became a real estate agent uh, a few months ago. Uh, I got, you know, licensed here in Illinois, joined um, Bev George and Associates. Uh, it has been awesome. Uh, They're a great team. Uh, my managing broker, Bryce, awesome guy, uh, knows what he's doing. Uh, great people to be working with. That one thing that's cool about this is, uh, you know, it's not just me, which is great because I'm like, you know, I'm still kind of new into this. Uh, kind of learning on the job uh, which like I said is awesome but uh, you know it's like you're really not just getting me you're getting kind of the whole team of uh, people who really know what they're doing and have been doing this for a little while um, have connections so you're getting my connections you're getting you know uh, Bryce's connections you're getting all these people's connections people that they know it's like a whole network of, of really just uh, connections uh, which is really really cool one thing that I've, I've heard said plenty is the idea that you know we don't get to where we're going in life uh, on our own. It's like you ever see that meme? It's a uh, you have like a turtle on a fence, like sitting on top of a fence, and the caption reads, "He didn't get there alone." <laughs> you know, it's like somebody had to help this guy up there. And so that's kind of cool because that's in, in this industry. That's really kind of how it is. Is you know, everybody kind of works together to really put each other <laughs> up on a fence, I guess. But uh, so that's cool. Um, so yeah, I'm up here in Illinois doing some real estate, trying to get that off the ground, trying to get that going. Uh, it's been a good time, a lot of learning. Um, I like to uh, to learn kind of hands-on style, so so that's been great. I have um, one property that I have up listed right now. It's uh, um, in Granite City it is a it's an investment opportunity property it is a uh, it's a fixer-upper it's got great foundation it's got a new roof um, so if you know anybody's looking for a property that they can put some work into fix up uh, and you know make some money off of or something it's uh, it's definitely a great opportunity investment opportunity property so I got that going right now looking for other properties that people you know want to put up for sale um, anybody who's looking for a property it's a fun story actually with how I got licensed this is it's a funny story because of how it turned out the, uh, the lead up to it was like super stressful but um so I got licensed uh, to to do real estate here in Illinois a few months ago um, so you got to take this test right to get licensed and so I'm studying for this thing um, I hate studying but you know as so I'm studying for this thing uh, I feel like I'm doing really good um, and so then I go to take the test right and I'm like man none of the questions that I studied are on this test right because I'm like I got these down like I'm I'm doing these videos and whatnot. They're asking questions. I'm like, bop, 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 bop. I got these down, right? I got these questions down. I'm answering them. I am feeling super good about this test. So I get the state ones. I, I pass the state test, no problem. But when it comes to the, the national part of it, I'm like, man, where are these questions coming from? I am just failing miserably. I've never even seen these questions. I don't know the answers to these questions. So I go back, I study some more. I'm like, okay. So now that I have an idea of, of kind of how the test is going to look, uh, I can be more prepared. Uh, I bomb it again. It's still the same thing. I'm like, I have no freaking idea <laughs> the answer to these questions. I've never seen them before. Um, so I, I'm talking to people. And I'm like, man, like I don't, I don't know what the issue is. And so you know, somebody reveals to me that in Illinois, um, you aren't just taking the agent test but all agents in Illinois have to take the broker test, right? So you actually are taking a test to become a broker, not just an agent. And so it's like a step up, right? Of like the requirements, like the responsibility, like all of that kind of stuff. 
And so I'm like, and most of the tests out there, the, the practice tests and all the, the practice and training and all that that I was looking into was all for the agents. That's what most people are going to be taking. So that's mostly what's out there. And so, um, uh, but I, I don't figure this out until after my th like third try, right? And so I go in there for my fourth try. And I'm like, okay, so this time I've been studying the, the broker portion of it. Uh, so hopefully I'll be more prepared. So I go in there. And, and I pass, like I barely pass, but I pass it, right? And so I'm like, woo, like I'm, I'm super hyped. I'm like, oh, I did it. Like this has been so frustrating, but I've been taking, I've been practicing for the wrong test this whole time. Um, but so I, I finally pass it. I'm like, oh, finally, like this part of it is is over, right? So I talked to uh, to Bryce, my managing broker, and he's like, oh, well, uh, yeah, it's a good thing you passed because you know, if you you fail it four times, you have to retake. The entire class which is like this like hundred some hour like class that you have to take online and i was like oh you know it's, if you don't pass it the fourth time then you have to take the entire class and then do it all over again i'm like yeah i'm glad i didn't know that before because that would have been really stressful i probably would have psyched myself out but i saw so i finally passed it and uh and so obviously all that's behind me i'm licensed now and it's great, but it was super stressful. On a, on another note here, um, so how I kind of got into this whole thing with real estate was um, my sister has been doing this for a couple years now, and uh, she's straight making bank, right? <laughs> she's doing awesome. Um, she's able to um, have a flexible schedule. She's able to make a whole bunch of money. She's able to like be there for her her kids, just the, the bazillion you know nieces that I have. Um, so she's able to be there for the kids, be there for her family, uh, make a whole bunch of money and uh, keep it flexible. And so kind of where me and my wife are at, um, because, you know, both of us are also in full time ministry and stuff, uh, you know, that we need the flexibility, but we also needed, you know, to generate some some casholas. And so I was like, this sounds like a pretty sweet gig, right? Um, and so, you know, I looked into it after having like, you know, a few hour long conversation with my sister talking about, you know, what it is, what it looks like, how it'll be, what is needed to get into it. Um, we, uh, so we decided, you know, that I was going to pursue it. That I was going to go further into it. And my mother actually is, uh, just got licensed in Oklahoma. She actually, uh, uh just made a couple of sales. She got her first check, um, uh, I think just like a week or so ago. So that is awesome. So both. My sister, my mom, and me are now all licensed uh, real estate agents uh, in different states. My sister's in Arkansas, my mom's in Oklahoma, and I'm up here in Illinois. So, uh, so yeah, that's really cool. So that's kind of how all of this came about. How uh, that's kind of my real estate journey up till now, and I am definitely ready for this thing to explode and for this thing to to take me as far as it can. Um, so, uh, once again, if anybody has any properties that they're wanting to put up for sale. If anybody's looking for a property, it doesn't even have to be in Illinois. You just let me know. I'll find somebody. You know, like I said, we got a whole, um, whole connection, whole uh, web. That's not the word I'm looking for. A whole network. Boom, network. We got a whole network of of agents just across uh, the United States. Like I said, I'm in, I'm related to two in other states. So if you know anybody in any states, any connections, any friends, family, whatever, that's looking to buy or sell in real estate, hit me up. And uh, either I can do it myself or I can find somebody uh, who would just be awesome at, at helping them out. So yeah, let me know. That's kind of what's been going on with me in my, uh, my trek, my adventure, my odyssey, my, my journey. Insert epic, cool sounding, inspirational word here. Uh, that's, that's what I've been doing in real estate. So just to fill you guys in, that's what's going on. Have a great day. Blah.